Last year, OpenAI released ChatGPT 01 Pro, which is supposed to be leaps and bounds ahead of the previous iterations of ChatGPT. But at $200 per month, many people are questioning, is it actually worth it? In this video, I reveal if it's worth it for most people. In addition, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison to show you the pros and cons of using the $200 version versus the $20 version. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt, and I help new YouTubers monetize their YouTube channels from day one, no longer needing the YouTube Partner Program or the YouTube Ad Revenue. Through actual strategies, real-world examples, and tools tailored for beginners, I'll help you turn your YouTube channel into a thriving business. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. So first things first, what is ChatGPT 01 Pro? According to AI, ChatGPT 01 Pro refers to a premium feature within the ChatGPT platform, specifically a mode that grants access to OpenAI's most advanced language model, 01, with an additional computational power for tackling complex problems. In plain English, it's the best of the best. Now, we've seen over the past year, year and a half, that ChatGPT and other chat bots like it have made leaps and bounds of progress. They've gone from being kind of like dumb friends that you would ask basic questions to, to being smart business advisors that could really help you navigate your business. Now you might be asking, what's the biggest difference between this version and all of the versions that came before? I would say it's knowledge based. It has both the knowledge of the entire World Wide Web and it has the knowledge of what people have been asking and entering in for the last year, year and a half. The other versions have various limitations, like some of them can't browse the web, some of them can't give you real-time information, but it appears that this latest model can do all of that. You can enter in a web page and it can give you some information. It even has the ability in some cases to give you a completed finished picture based on a few basic directions. Now let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'm gonna give you a look around and we're actually gonna compare this model to some of the other versions. So to access the newest model, you simply would go up here and click on the newest model, best at reasoning, 01 pro mode. And for all intents and purposes, it looks basically the same. But as you can see here, you can attach files, you can view the different tools that are available, and in some instances, you can actually search the web. The one thing that I did notice is that when you use this model, you are limited onto the type of things that you can upload. For example, if I tried to upload a Word document to have it read through the Word document, it'll tell me that it needs to be a PNG file. So for example, as you can see here, I am going to find a Word document. It doesn't let me do it, but it does let me upload PNG files. If I compare that to one of the older versions, let's say uh, ChatGPT4, I can upload PDFs and Google Docs for it to process. So that quite honestly, is a limitation. One of the biggest benefits of this model is that I have unlimited access to O1 Pro as well as GPT-4. If you are limited to the $20 per month, you can run up against a limit of the number of inputs or questions that you ask, which can severely hamper your, your business. If you use this for business or marketing or simply figuring out basic things, you might run into that limitation, which could be a problem if you are in a bind. Let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison where I ask it the same question and I'll show you how long it takes to get the answers and if the answers are even better. Now for this exercise, I'm just going to ask it to act as an expert in buyer psychology and to give me the pain points of someone that wants to start an online business. All right, so first I'm gonna enter it into 01 Pro, act as an expert in buyer psychology. Please list 10 pain points of someone that wants to start an online business. Hit enter, and then I am going to paste the exact same thing over here. And as you can see, oh, uh, ChatGPT4 has already given me a number of pain points that I could potentially use to move my business forward. On the left-hand side, we can see that Pro is still thinking and it's taking a little while. Now, it doesn't matter if it's taking longer, if it gives us a better output, but we'll see very soon if the output is better. 
Now, I want to show you in real time how long this takes, and so I'm not going to speed this up at all. We're simply going to sit here together and see in real time how much longer this takes to get an output. All right, so as you can see here, we have the output, and if we take a look, overwhelm confusion, overwhelm confusion, they feel inundated by the sheer volume, fear of failure, fear of failure. Uh, so in general, they have the same answers and the same information. It just looks like this one is a little bit more detailed. The question is, is it worth the $180 per month difference to get essentially the same information? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to analyze a website and let me know what the overall theme and point of the website is. And for this, we are going to go to a website called Platform Proof Profits, where I show you how you can monetize your social media and your YouTube channel without having a large following. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in and say, analyze this website for the overall theme and um, objective. I'm going to paste it in like this and we're just going to copy that. Hit enter, and then I'm going to paste it over just like this. All right, so as you can see, ChatGPT4 has already analyzed the website and has given me a decent summary. Now, on O1 Pro, you can see that it is still analyzing. The next question that I will ask is, I'll ask it, what is the best way to start an online business and scale it to $1,000 per month to see what the difference is and to see if we get a better output? All right, so as you can see, we are still working. Okay, finally, we've got a very detailed answer, which looks to be very thorough. You can see here that it has the headings of the core theme, the primary objective, target audience, messaging and positioning included with pain points and promise solution, visual and copy elements, uh, sales funnel structure, overall impression, and then a summary. So this is a very detailed answer, which could be very helpful if you are looking at looking at your competitors, looking for um, an audit of your own content or your own blog. Um, so that right here, this actually looks to be very, very good and very thorough. So again, we're gonna the final question that we're gonna ask is what is the best way to start an online business and scale to a thousand dollars per month? So we've asked there, and then we're gonna paste it in right here. And if we scroll down, so with or it is looking at my previous conversations. So with a slight mess up, I went back and as you can see here, it is giving us a step-by-step -step guide on how to scale to $1,000 per month with our online business, um, featuring three bullet points and even a path to 1K. And over here, we're still waiting for uh, Pro to give us an answer. Like I said, I, I think that one of the biggest challenges is speed. And if you have limited time, this can be a problem because you have to essentially ask it a question and then walk away, come back 30 seconds to a minute later. Uh, very easy to get distracted, to start thinking about other things and potentially miss out on growing your business. After we're done here, I'll give you my recommendations. I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons and how I use it to get the most out of it. Now, if we look here, it gives us a very thorough, essentially the same concept, it gives us a thorough description on what to do and how to scale to $1,000 per month. At the end of the day, it has mostly the same information and the same content, but both of them give you a pretty good overview on how to scale to $1,000 per month. Now that we've looked at it side by side, uh, let me reveal with you how I actually use it. I use it primarily for two things. I use it for prompt creation because I like to ask ChatGPT to give me prompts so that I can put in the best prompts for ChatGPT, which seems to work out very well. And I also use it as a business advisor. Instead of paying a mentor, I like to ask ChatGPT to give me some business advice based on what it knows about me. Because it has access to the internet, it's able to see your online presence. And because it looks at your online presence, it can actually identify gaps in your business. So at the end of the day, what should you do? Should you buy it? I don't think it's quite ready for prime time just yet. I don't think it's, I don't think it's for everyone, 
uh, partly because it's priced at $200. I think that if you are using it for a high level of logic and reasoning, and you're using it to help make business decisions, if you're using it to help with complex tasks, then go for it. One of the ways that I got the biggest benefit out of it over this past week, when I was trying to combine two APIs for my book delivery. Platform Proof Profits is a physical book, but I don't make books at my house. I actually source my books from a website called lulu.com. And what I had to figure out was I had to figure out how to connect my website to the Lulu backend so that anytime someone buys a book, it actually gets printed and shipped directly to them without my involvement at all. And what I was able to do is I was able to use ChatGPT Pro to help me quickly set all of that up without hiring somebody to do it, without frustration and overwhelm. What I was able to do was I was able to just take screenshots of what I was looking at from a website called make.com, put it right into ChatGPT, and it was able to tell me exactly what I should be entering in into those boxes. And so for that, it was actually worth it. Instead of hiring someone that might cost me $500 to put together the API, I simply just took screenshots, put it right into the chat box, and got the solution that I needed. And I was able to actually set up a publisher, set up a publisher for my book without having to hire anybody and waste money. So there is a use case for it, but for most people, I don't think it would really be worth it. I think the $20 version is good enough for now. If the price comes down from $200 to maybe $100 per month, it might be worth it for more people. If it responded faster, I think it might be worth it for more people. But right now, it's probably not worth it for everyone. Now that you know whether or not Pro is worth it, watch this video next because I show you how to monetize your YouTube channel in just two days.